All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2024 comedy film called Sasquatch Sunset. Now here's the plot of this weird film. In the mystery forests of North America, a family of Sasquatches find themselves on a collision course with the ever-changing world around them. Now here is some of the cast. So definitely not anywhere near as over the top, bizarre, and the uh, gory uh, grossness as I was expecting. And what I've heard, because people have walked out on this, so it just kind of uh, it, how it was put out in articles was kind of like it was over exaggerated. But at the same time, there was still plenty of gross stuff throughout, with all the types of body fluids coming out of every hole and unnecessary constants finger smelling with that specific part the finger smelling was definitely or smelling in general was one of the most uncomfortable things there was for most of the film i will say the film looked beautiful from a landscape point of view however there was zero talking with just grunting and barking throughout and you could hear every noise of their movements through the forest and sound of nature, which is a positive because, uh, you know, this is a good shout out to very, very in-depth detail sound design equipment. The whole film wasn't funny in my opinion. It straight up felt like a high budget Discovery Channel nature show following them around, but without the smooth sounding narrating, narrated British guy or a mish or american guy known as uh, morgan freeman uh, i will say the costume and makeup design was top notch but the story and lack of comedy wasn't there for me personally i was entertained enough to get me through the whole film in record time because to, uh, to be honest normally it takes me way longer but i wouldn't say i liked it that much and I personally wouldn't suggest it to you at all nothing about this says anything other than stoner comedy or a stoner made this um, so it kind of comes off like and Jesse Eisenberg's is, is part of this so it kind of comes off like it's a, a stoner type of, of, of film you know uh, artsy type of, of uh, hipster hipsy film which I'm not particularly a fan of, but it, there's been a couple that I liked, I think, to some degree. But this is definitely a, a, the film, the film in general is something that if you were to flat out grab a joint, grab a, boo, a beer, or whatever, um, and get high off of this, you would probably find this very funny, entertaining for stupid reasons. Um, but I found no comedy at all, not even the lightest a touch of it. And the story was very, very barely there. So um, it was more like a, ge a, a geographic type of uh, Discovery Channel type of thing. But yeah. So here's my rating. I'll come back with my thought thoughts. Honestly, interesting concept for a film, even though it's 100% of the film, you need to be part of the target audience for this type of film. This was a, I don't know, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this film anymore. It's, it's, it's bizarre. It's, it's not as bizarre and out of the uh, uh, way as I thought it would be. But it's, 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 yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, so I'll leave your comments down below. Let me know if you are a Bigfoot believer. <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking that. But it just, and it's also something that came up that kind of made me think of who would love this, the target audience of this. But, you know, it is other than stoners, but, you know. Uh, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe.
Spread the love most importantly. Let's go.